Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add a metallic texture to an image, kind of like we're going to play like Goldfinger in the James Bond movie. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get rid of the layers here that we don't need. And we're just going to start off with our young lady right here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and just duplicate this image right away. Command J. And on this one, the top one, we're going to do a black and white conversion. So we're going to come down to the adjustment layers and come to black and white. And we're going to make sure it's just applied to that layer there. And what I like to do here is kind of change the red value a little bit, kind of wash it out just a little bit there. And that's fine right there. And then we're going to go ahead and rasterize and trim that layer. So now the next thing we're going to do to this layer is we're going to add a gradient map. So again, we're going to come down to the adjustments, scroll down to gradient map, and we're going to make sure that that gradient map is only applied again, just to that layer there. And we've got three nodes here. It always starts off with a red, a green, and a blue node. So we're going to change this red node to black. And then we're going to insert a couple more nodes here. So we'll have a total of five nodes and we'll space those out. So we're going to make her gold. So let's take this next layer here. And this is going from dark to light is actually what a gradient map does. So let's take this layer or this node here and we're going to come over to the yellow color. But let's come to like a darker yellow on that. Somewhere right about there. Then the next layer we want to create some higher contrast. So on this one we're going to come back to yellow. But we're going to bring it up to a bright yellow. And then we'll come over to the fourth node. And on this one, we're going to go a little darker again with the yellow. So you can see it's starting to take on that goldish color. And this very last one, let's go ahead and make that white. And then we can kind of play around with the, uh, the spacing on these to get that gold texture that we like. And once we're close, what we can do is we can take this gradient map here and Command J, duplicate it. So that really brings out that uh, that gold texture there. Now in this one, we can reduce the opacity a little bit if we want, kind of dial it in where we want it. And we want enough contrast here, like in the skirt and the shadows there to get what we're looking for. And again, this is all to uh, to taste here, so you find what works best for you. And then for a final touch, let's take this, if we turn off this right here, we still have the color layer underneath. Let's take that one and drag it up over the top. And again, with this one, we're going to give it a black and white adjustment to just the color version. And this one we want to get as contrasty as possible. So let's go ahead and bring the, the red up. Let's bring the yellow up a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there. So now let's rasterize and trim this layer as well. And so what we're going to do on this one is we're going to use a filter called Detect or Detect Edges. We're going to detect all the edges on this one. And so you can see it kind of turns it black and white. We want to invert this. So we're going to hit Command and I. So we're left with just the, uh, the white. And then we need to clean this up a little bit because there is still a lot of shading here that we don't want. We're just kind of using this as a, the, the darker portions as a highlight. So let's come down to our adjustments here and let's go to Threshold. And we'll make sure that the threshold is only on that image as well. And we can play around with the, uh, the slider here until we get just what we're looking for. You know, we want some outlines, but we don't want too much texture in there. So we'll go with that. And we can rasterize and trim this layer. And the last thing we need to do is change the blending option on this one. So let's try, I think what works best for this one is probably soft light. And then again, we can play with the opacity on that so that we can keep a lot of that gold texture there, but have our outlines accentuated just a little bit. And there you go. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a very difficult uh, effect to do. You could do this and turn it into silver. Instead of using the yellows, you could just use grayscale. So lighter gray, middle gray, dark gray, and you achieve the same effect. 
Uh, short, easy one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to the channel. And until next time, peace. Thanks for watching. Bye.